G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, the new week is upon us and Bitcoin still trading sideways, trying ever so hard to break that $10,500 level. But I found an interesting article here. So, Bitcoin must break this level to start a new bull run. Bitcoin has bounced off the $10,600 mark and continues to trend in a narrow price range above $10,000. BTC must rise above $11,900 to start a new bull run. Well, that'd be fantastic if we could get above that because we got up close a little while ago. I think we nearly hit sort of 12,500 and we rejected off that pretty fast. So we're all, you know, again, on bated breath, just waiting to see what Bitcoin is going to do. So we can come over and have a look, get to our trusty chart. So we broke outside of this sort of, you know, trend line that we had and now we're sort of trending upwards a little bit. But even that's kind of been negated. Now we're going sideways and we're really struggling to break through that $10,500 level. We can see it wicked out here and it wicked uh, out over there, but no actual candle bodies above that uh, for quite some time. $10,500 really seems to be the resistance at the moment, but we can see the 100 day moving average uh, seems to be acting as a bit of support as well. So we've been trading sideways for a few days now, uh, you know, how long are we going to trade sideways before an actual move is made? And will it be to the upside or will it be to the downside? That's the really, really hard part to know. Uh, and look, I don't know at the moment. I am hoping that we break to the upside. You know, there's a, a fair amount of fear in the market at the moment. And usually when there's a lot of a lot of fear in the market, it'll go up. And then when there's a lot of greed in the market, it'll go down. So yeah, quite often it'll react in the opposite way to how most people are feeling. But not always. Sometimes it does exactly what the markets, uh, you know, the, the sentiment of the market believes it's going to do. So we'll just have to wait and see. But trading sideways at the moment. Go over to Coin Gecko and have a look. Three hundred and forty-six billion. So we're down a little bit. So we've, uh, you know, the market cap's gone down. But it is the weekend. Well, the weekend's just ended, and now we're sort of getting into Monday. It's Monday here in Australia, and just going on to Monday. Uh, over in the states so we'll just have to wait and sort of see what happens but we can see there's a, a little bit of green here which is good let's have a look what are the movers in the last 24 hours nexus mutual i am absolutely kicking myself that i didn't get into this i remember when it was first coming out and i just you know i don't know what i was thinking but i thought oh insurance i'm not too worried about that I, i'm slapping myself now insurance is massive and i should have known it was going to be massive in cryptocurrencies but anyway seven days it's up 61 percent five percent in the last hour and 13 percent in the last 12 24 hours so yeah what do you do ample fourth is up DeFi money ontology kasama uh, that looks like an interesting project i want to do a little bit more research onto that obviously yearn finance you know binance coin they are you know, they're making some moves at the moment and we'll have to wait and see you know if things progress the way CZ wants them to anyway, uh, Binance has got a real chance at sort of challenging Ethereum. I don't think it'll get to be as big as Ethereum, but they are starting to, you know, it's almost copy and paste. Similar to Tron, but, you know, not quite as bad as Tron. But, you know, they're making their own platform and, you know, they're trying to bring DeFi to it and it's now being called CDeFi. So, yeah, interesting. We'll ha have to keep a look. I've got a bag of uh, Binance coin and it's doing pretty well at the moment. And, yeah, I, I guess we'll, you know, don't bet against CZ is what I say. He's a very smart guy and he's done a lot with Binance in a short amount of time. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I think that's a pretty good buy. Would I buy into it now? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's still, you know, if you believe we're in a bull run, and I do, uh, and it's early on, and Binance, you know, can really sort of, you know, start to try and take on Ethereum, then, you know, Ethereum's at, you know, 200 $300 a coin. I guess there's a bit of room for Binance to move there. But not financial advice, do your own research. Again, they're sort of copying and pasting some things from Ethereum uh, along with Tron, but that's, you know, how it works in open source. You know, the code's out there, and if someone wants to copy it, and if they want to copy it and make it better, then that's exactly what they can do. There's no copyrights to any of it. So, yeah. But I found an interesting article here, and, and this annoys me a little bit. So Apple forces Coinbase to change its crypto products, says the CEO. 
So we can go down here and say the CEO alleged that other cryptocurrency firms are reluctant to speak out on these topics for fear of retaliation, but that he feels the need to speak out as Coinbase has exhausted regular channels for dialogue with Apple uh, and has reached a dead end. According to Armstrong, Apple has told Coinbase uh, it is prohibited from adding two specific functions to its iOS app. The ability to earn money using cryptocurrencies, well, that's what Coinbase sort of do, uh, and access to decentralized finance apps, uh, specifically DeFi. So we know Apple have a really tight hold on you know what apps can be added and they have to be approved and all the rest of it. So it seems like they are making it quite hard for D apps and all the rest of it to be put on uh, you know the iOS network. I mean, not quite hard. They're making it impossible. Obviously, you know, uh, if you're into hacking your phones, uh, jailbreaking and things like that, then that would be a way to circumnavigate that. And maybe Coinbase need to look at having an app put on uh, Cydia or something like that. But yeah, it is disappointing that Apple have uh, made this so hard. They really are trying to, you know, make sure they control, you know, the reins on anything that can go on, on the Apple phones. And, and disappointing because, you know, not that I'm a massive Coinbase fan. I don't hate Coinbase. I just don't use them, uh, really. But the fact that, yeah, they can't get a app on Apple simply because Apple wants to, you know, have that stranglehold over everything that goes onto the iOS network, that is quite disappointing. Uh, yeah, and, and it's disappointing for anyone involved in crypto because it means, you know, you're not going to be able to use uh, a majority of those apps uh, using an Apple phone. So disappointing but we'll have to wait and see what the outcome of that is uh and yeah monday going on to tuesday here in australia very shortly but you know sort of monday for over in the states and that and yeah we'll have to wait and see what bitcoin's gonna do really just hanging under that ten thousand five hundred dollar level uh, and again the fear and greed index uh fear is pretty high at the moment so it would not surprise me that we actually punch upwards and make a big move upwards because that's what Bitcoin does uh, at times, the complete opposite of the market sentiment. But look, other times it completely follows the market sentiment and there's a lot of fear at the moment. So there's still every chance it does the exactly the same, oh, sorry, the complete opposite and rolls over. But look, we could trade sideways. You know, some awesome advice I'm giving everyone there is look, I don't know what it's going to do. We're just going to have to wait and see. I still believe we're in a bull market. So long term, I think this is only going to go up. But we could have a further correction. But because the fear and greed index is high to fear, yeah, I, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we have a move upwards. I would be somewhat surprised if we move downwards. Just not completely surprised. But yeah, when the fear and greed index is leaning to one side, quite often the market will do the complete opposite. So we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that gain train. And I'll see you next time.